Mason, are you here? Surprised to see you here. How was your ride? We've gone all afternoon. It was wonderful. I sometimes think I prefer the company of animals to people. It's so simple. No self delusions, no deceit, no disappointment. I know what you mean. I've always liked animals for that reason. I'm sure I would have been a different person if I'd grown up on a farm. I like the person you are now. Mary, why are you here? I'm not exactly sure of that. Something wrong? Can you tell me what it is? You were wrong when you told me once that I was so sure about everything. I don't think I've ever been sure about anything. I think that's why I've trusted what I've been taught could tell me how to act and what to do. And I've been thinking a lot lately. And what I've been taught hasn't been enough. I'm not sure I follow you. Just what are you trying to say? What do you want? Are you sure you want to go? No. Look, I know what attraction is. I've been attracted to people I shouldn't have been more than once. But with you. Yes. What did you want to say? happening. You came to me. Yes. Mason. I swore I'd never let it get this far. I've wanted you too. I've thought about this as much as you have. I've even dreamed about this. Have you? Yes. I want you. That's why I came here. I want to be with you. I know this changes everything. My life. Your life. Don't be afraid makes us happy, what can be wrong with it? But there are other people involved. How can we think of just ourselves? There are so many other things to think about. I can't do this. I can't do this. Mary, wait. I'm responsible for this. If there's any blame that belongs to me, I'll accept it. But don't go. I want you. 
I want you. Are you angry? No. I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't know what's happening. I thought I was too uh, cynical or angry to fall in love. Yeah. I feel like a kid again. I want to go around carving our initials and trees or turning car wheels or something. Don't do that yet. Well, you don't have to worry. I can't turn a cartwheel. <laughs> so I'm stupid, aren't I? No, you're wonderful. You make me feel that way. I've wounded you for so long. We've lost so much time. And it's all my fault. Because you've always made me laugh. And you've always made me think and feel things. And I've just been so scared that I've kept backing off. I've been scared, too. We've never... We've never known anybody like us before. You were inexperienced. I was a mass of defense mechanisms. No wonder we were afraid of each other. You've always understood me better than anybody. Sometimes too well. Mark's gonna be home. Mark. Yeah. Don't think about Mark. Not now. Just us. Being here with me. I'm here with you. This isn't a dream, is it? This isn't one of my fantasies. You're here. I'm here. You're so real. I can't forget about Mark. You mm, do? Just for a minute? Just for a few seconds, there's nobody out there to answer to. Nobody else in the world but the two of us. Alone. You know, there's nothing on heaven or earth that can keep me away from you now. Let the sin be mine. Well, no, you can't take the blame for my sins. can't take the credit, either. <laughs> well, it's a pity I'd be living in a state of perpetual grace. I do believe that divorce is wrong. But so is what I'm doing to you and Mark right now. This isn't wrong. Don't let anyone make you believe for an instant that what's happened between us is anything less than blessed. What's wrong is you feeling that you have to go back to Mark and leave this behind you. I think how unfair that is to him. There is another way. I just don't know if I can go through with it. What way? I, I can't talk about it yet. It affects me. I want to know about it. Mason, I, I can't. It's not all Mark's fault. The unhappiness I've been feeling, I can't blame it all on him. But even though I feel the way I do about you, I think we might have made our marriage work, except... Except what? I, he changed after the accident in the cabin. I don't understand what the accident could have to do with it. Well, I, I, I can't explain it right now. I think I should go because he's going to be home and I don't want him to get home before me and wonder where I am. And well, why not? How many times have you wondered about him? Let him worry. It's not about getting even with Mason. I know that. It's just... you decided on a course of action, haven't you? Yes, I think so. What is it? I I can't tell you yet. Please? This is something I have to look out by myself. All right, but promise me you won't make a decision tonight. What, what's happened between us is new and confusing, but it had to happen. You do believe that? Yes. Good. And don't make any hasty decisions. We can talk tomorrow. Maybe you can tell me then. Um, we'll talk, but not tomorrow. That's too soon. I'll let you know when I'm ready, though. Well, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? What do I do the next time I see you? Oh, Mason, I know this isn't fair to you. Fair. <laughs> Whatever you decide, I want to say in it. I want to vote. You'd stuff the ballot boxes. Oh, 
all used to be fair in love and war. Don't pressure me, all right. But don't worry, because it's all going to be all right. Well, because I love you. And it'll work out just the way I want, right? Did anybody ever tell you that you're spoiled? No, because I always threw a tantrum when they did. But I'm getting better. You are better. Better than anybody I know. Oh, Mason. What? I love you. Did you hear what you just said? First time I ever felt it. Riding, isn't it? Has Mary been here? Why should she be here? Because someone at the house told me they saw her walking this way. Frankly, I'm glad you don't know where she is either. Why are you staring at me? Oh, was I? Has Mary been here? Yeah. The last time I saw her, she was looking for you. Have you tried the guest house? The lights were out up there, so I tried the house first. Well, I tried the guest house. It seems to be the logical place. She's usually home by this hour, unlike you. She has no business being at home. She was supposed to meet me for dinner at the Orient Express. I waited two hours for her, and she never showed up. Really? Yeah, I called everywhere, but I couldn't find her. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, well, gee, I'm sorry, Mark. I don't know much about your uh, personal engagement. Well, you know plenty about my marriage. Mason, I'm going to give you a little piece of advice, and I think you ought to take it. I want you to stay away from Mary from now on. She is my wife. She belongs to me, not you. Well, for one thing, I don't believe that people belong to each other, Mark. But if they did, I don't think Mary would belong to you anymore. I think you've effectively destroyed that relationship. And I didn't have to do anything but sit back and wait. There wouldn't have been any problems if you hadn't been in the picture. Now, just stay out of the way and watch how well we do. I mean it, Mason. Stay away from the both of us. 